Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you what I did in quarantine. I've built Connect, incorporated with Hot Wheels, Legos, and Connect. Today I'm going to be showing you an amusement park that I've made out of them. It's actually very neat how they work. See, they're like these poles that you can make and you have gears and stuff. You can make very intricate and imaginative things. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to show you is the hot rod I made. It actually looks like one. It, it has the front, it has the big front back wheels like regular, and it has the actual engine piece. It also has a front bumper. Of course, all amusement parks have people, but right now there would not, not be any people, but this is supposed to be for after the quarantine. And of course, I used little Lego people. I have tons of these little figurines. And I used them to kind of make this park seem alive. And I've also incorporated um, a bunch of Legos and Hot Wheels cars for the parking lot. Because, of course, if people are here, then you need a parking lot for all your people. This, okay, so I, the next thing I'd like to show you is my Ferris wheel. My dad has helped a lot. He made, this whole, he made this whole part. I made the whole frame. See, it actually has like... I, they say it's horses, but I think it's like more of a seahorse. It looks like a seahorse. And the cool things about this is they actually work. Like if I turn this, it moves. Because there's a rubber band connected to a wheel that goes into here and goes up and turns it from here. The next thing I'd like to show you is my train tracks. The, you know how some amusement parks have like those kitty trains. So, and this one, I've actually built myself, and it actually works. Waiting for it to kick into action, because the batteries are low, so it might go slow, but it's really very ski rally. Uh, there we go. Need more power. all controlled by this one remote. One of Each one of these knobs is controlling one of the engines on the trains. And it has a bunch of receivers, like this is the receiver right here, and the receiver on this one's right here. The next thing I'd like to show you, let me just stop the train so it's a little more quiet. Next thing I'd like to show you is my whirlabout. The thing that spins and spins in a different direction. And uh, of course, like, there's, there's, there's little, like, at the mall, you see little kitty helicopter things that little kids would typically go on. So, and then this one is probably my favorite and most working. See, it's a little airplane ride that actually has airplanes. I added, these were supposed to be, um, these little red pieces, but I made it so that was this, so I could put, like, the streamlines. And if you turn this, then it actually works. And these are very intricate, because see these little white pieces? Don't mind that. See, it, I made it so that there's little, like, t very tiny little green pieces, and it makes two gears that kind of interconnect and make it turn. I just thought that was really cool. I mean, I've never actually seen like Legos that can actually work like this. Of course, every, every amusement park has a snack shack or something. See, he's walking out with the turkey leg, got a few people walking in. An ATM for money, because of course, if you don't have money, then you can just go to an ATM. And do you have some drinks here? A couple people, a garage for the tractor over there, and a mini Ferris wheel. Oh, forgot to set that guy up. 
a mini Ferris wheel. It's a, it actually has like tiny little seats that were made specifically. If you come over here, I have a ball pit, which is actually just a bunch of my old ping pong balls with a couple people in it. But I thought it was cool if I had made one. Next thing I'd like to show you is these little Lego vehicles I made. See, they actually turn. If I turn this little knob on top, and if you turn the back wheels, then these gears move, and it's like a lawnmower. Then I have a crane, which is working on this, and like a plow, plowing stuff. Of course, I have my tiny windmill, my bit, my medium windmill, and the big windmill. The biggest windmill actually, like if you turn the thing down here, it actually turns. It's like the um, merry-go-round over there. The last thing that I would like to show you for all of this amusement park is my Ferris wheel. It, it, this one is probably took the long, the airplane ride probably took the longest. The, this is the second longest. And I've actually found this old Kinex engine in my Kinex. So I, I just put batteries in it and put it on here and then it actually works. See, it goes pretty fast. I mean, I'd rather turn it by hand because it'd be slower. And usual Ferris wheels are pretty slow. And um, there's one more thing I'd like to show you, but and I'll be right back. So the last thing I'd like to show you is I actually have two dogs. And what the big black one, black and brown one, is Augie. They love playing. The little white and black one is Reese. We're still deciding his birthday. We're thinking it's May the 4th because we got him in May. And my papa's birthday is May the 4th. And the cutest thing about him is he has a little button on his head. Reese, show your head. Hmm. Reese, he has a little button. He's definitely a cuddler. He loves sleeping with us in our beds. <laughs> What was that? Um, Augie's definitely the one more that loves to like lick us. That's the last thing I would like to show you. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. And I'll see you ne next time. My Remember my YouTube channel is The Proper Agent. And thank you for watching.